kitchen garden allotments. Hi guys and welcome back to Dan's Kitchen Garden Allotment. Just before this video starts, please go along and hit that subscribe button to come along and join the family. Let's get this video started. So then, I'm just on the way down to the allotment. But last week I sowed a few bits and pieces in the greenhouse, so I thought I'd bring you along and show you what I've sowed. All of these sowing videos will be coming out in one at the end of the year. I'll just show you little progress reports of how they're doing in the greenhouse and obviously how they're doing at the allotment. So let's go and have a look at in the greenhouse first to see what I'm growing. So then, it's that warm at the moment. Even the greenhouse windows decided to open. So let's go and see what's going on in the greenhouse. As you can see, a few bits have already been sewn up. I've done a few bits on Saturday, just gone, and a couple of bits that had a couple of days before. So what I've got, what I've sewn so far, is the first thing is cabbages. And if you can see with the sun, the second thing is leeks. But this year what I've decided to do, if I just reach over and get it, on the labels, as these are old blinds what i've just cut up and just snapped up and used as tags they tend to fade but the thing is if you push it the imprint in even more it does seem to mark the uh the old blind the old label so if you can see a number 10 on there what i've done is i've pushed that so hard with a pen it actually shows i'm not showing sure if it shows on the camera but it will show on the back of the label and then what i have done i'll just shove that back into there And then what I've done, the pack of seeds I've just, I sowed in there. I've just marked it with a number 10 down the bottom. So I can always go back and reference to see what, when the seeds were planted. So that's a handy tip for anyone else who's doing this sort of uh, growing with any of the uh, plants. So then as I move down, I've got sweet corn here. I've got three trays of them. I always like to put the sweet corn in these polystyrene boxes and the reason why I do that is just in case it gets a little bit cold in the greenhouse they can still stay warm and start growing. So I'll move back up now and underneath this one we've got the tomatoes. We've got no shows at the moment. Uh, as you can see we've got money maker tomatoes underneath there and also uh, tomato toms they're called so hopefully they'll be up soon this is another one i can sew and i can actually see greenery on this so what have we got coming up here so this was planted five days ago and this is some of the cabbages if you can see they're just starting to come up and at the back here what's got a lot of greenery it's quite a surprise naturally and that one is uh, Brussels sprouts. So this now, I won't keep it in the warm. I will just move this over to the open. Just so they don't start going leggy. And if it gets a little bit cold, I'll just bring out the... I'll just bring out the um, covers and just give them a little bit of a cover over as well. And we've got some more green over here. This is an unheated greenhouse. It's just a normal greenhouse. And what we got here, we've got our cucumbers coming up. They've come up quite quickly. Obviously, if it gets really cold in here, I will be taking them from here and putting them in indoors away from the cold weather that we can have. And at the back there, we've got some sweet peas and we've got nothing on them just yet. But it's always good to see a little bit of greenery in the greenhouse. Down here I've got my butternut squash, my pumpkin, and some, these are, if you see with this label here, this one's a pumpkin all, and when you think of pumpkin all, you're thinking, what's that? <laughs> well, basically I was given a bag of seeds of pumpkins last year of all different varieties, and I ain't got a clue what they are, so I just planted up a few just to see how they get on. Uh, Big Mac pumpkins, this come from Wilkinson's, 
obviously with the still with the labels still with the numbers at the bottom so i can always trace them back and even from last year i've called them daddy's pumpkins so anyone has any big pumpkins around they're known as daddy's pumpkins <laughs> so then guys as you can see it's a beautiful day so let's get down the allotment so then just before we go down the allotment i thought i'll show you this this is how a proper gardener travels to their allotment i love using my bike and i do it quite a bit biking down to the allotment as it's not too far away and today i need some weed membrane down there so what i've decided to do is strap it onto the old bike and hopefully i'll get there in one piece let me know in the comment section below guys what you have managed to take down the allotment and what transport you use to go down your allotment as well so then guys i've cycled down the allotment yes the black membrane did make it it didn't end up breaking off and i've actually laid it over on plot two so i'll take you over there to show you what i'm doing with that very very shortly but the first job down the allotment is to get the runner bean canes done because it won't be too long until the runner beans actually go in. So let's head off down to the runner bean section. So, it's that time of the year, it's time to get the runner beans up. And the first thing I'll start off with is this handy little tool. Showed it in my last video, it's like a multi-tool. It has five different applications. You can use it as a weed cutter, like a weed digger. You use it as a trowel. You've also got the depth of the trowel. You've got a knife on this side and you've also got like a saw cutting blade on that side. So if you're short of a knife at the allotment, or like me now, you need to cut the string. It just cuts through it like butter. So what I'm gonna do is prepare this up and I might even put you on a little time lapse. Wow, that is a brilliant tool. Makes it so easy just to get into there. It means you haven't got to have about three or four tools on your tool belt when you're at the allotment. You've got it all in one, you've got a handy little case, and it is brilliant to buy. I still went into my Robert Dyers, and they've still got them on offer for £2.50, so I might be getting a couple more of these. But as I get back to doing my cane, my set up for the runner beans one thing i've learned over many many years when you set this all up normally if you put a string on the crossbars you always have problems with um, when to go to take them down the runner beans are winded around them and they're an absolute pain in the bum if you use string so what i've done over the years over the years what i've learned is just weave them weave them around the other cage and this, this statue is absolutely solid. The reason why I place mine, my bamboo canes this way is because we've got a park just across the way and the wind comes whistling through this way. So it means that my runner beans never ever seem to get knocked down or bashed up or anything like that. I've seen many and many at the allotment that do like a wigwam uh, cane setup. And the thing is with them, they always seem to end up on the floor by the end of the season. So I've always found that this is the best way to go. So let's head over to plot two now and I've got a couple bits to do on plot two. And hopefully that is most of the allotment done. <laughs> 